what is going on you guys welcome back to another video i hope you're having a amazing day so far today i want to talk to you about a bundle that has released from the game it's been about it's been out for about a week now and it is it is available for purchase on most platforms and i just want to talk to you today on if it is worth it so actually the way you would find this bundle is when you go to your atomic shop you would go to where you would purchase atoms and then from there where you would purchase the atoms you're going to see it right here it is going to be the skyline valley lost treasures bundle now this bundle does come with a list of items let me read them off to you i'm showing them to you right here on the screen it is going to be the weather control station which is going to give your camp that skyline valley weather that's i'll be honest that's the main reason why i'm going to purchase this bundle i'm purchasing this bundle so i can show you guys what's actually in it and if it's worth it i'll let you determine that factor yourself um, the V63 power armor and jetpack paint so that's pretty cool um, it's a new power armor skin. I do collect power armor skins, so that's cool for me at least. The Vault 63 door display. So another display you can display basically anywhere you want. I know it's a pretty big display to have though. Mow the Mole plushie. Adds to my plushie collection. Cool. And the V63 chassis display frame. This is going to be a power armor display case. And of course the lightning rod pose. So, I'm going to purchase this bundle and let you know if it's worth it, at least for you guys. Now, let the record show, if you're on Xbox and you have Game Pass, whether you're on X, the console Xbox or playing on the app version that is for the Microsoft on PC, I have both, you get a discount on it. So, instead of it being $30, it's actually $26. 27 after like tax and all that uh, stuff 27 something whatever so we're just gonna say for for just sake $30 because I don't know what deal this PlayStation has I don't know what deal Steam necessarily has with it but I'm gonna purchase it and I'm gonna let you guys know what I think all right guys first things first I have my uh, t65 power armor here I'm actually going to apply it to this right here. That's going to be one of the uh, items that everybody is going to be the most excited about, in my opinion, out of this bundle, would be the Power Armor skin. So that's what I'm looking forward to second most. I would say the Weather Station is the main one that I'm looking forward to. But let's do this and see what it looks like all together. I've seen the Power Armor itself, but I haven't actually seen it in game so i'm curious to see what it looks like in game so this is gonna be my first look at it let's go ahead and enter this bad boy and see what we're working with a little bit of a slow entrance right here right here we go the v63 power armor skin for on the t65 let's see what it looks like right away it is really gray which it that's just the color it is and here you go as you see the lights are on the top we will actually go into better lighting over here we'll go inside my camp so you can get a better look look at it right on over into my kitchen where it's pretty lit up and there you have it this is what the power armor is going to look like equipped on your uh, actual power armor as you can see it is it's pretty cool um i like it it's very like in dark settings it's very blank like very bland but it does look cool as a whole i will say like when you're looking at it from the front view it's pretty cool um let's get a let's check out the new pose that we now have it should be right here the lightning rod pose now that that is really cool i dig that and it wow it actually okay that is really cool it actually shoots all the way up towards the sky okay i i wonder how far you could actually see this from i'm after i'm gonna have to do this when my friends get online to determine how far you can actually see it from but that's that's really cool i dig it this is a really cool pose i it almost looks like take a screenshot of that it almost looks like kind of a magic wand almost 
from like one of those like wizard movies i'm gonna say like harry potter i'm not i'm not really a big harry potter fan but it looks like something to do with that i dig it it's really cool um let's move on to the uh weather station because the weather station's another really big part of this bundle that i that i paid for it for like, this is what i wanted was the weather station itself so let's see what this looks like so beforehand you guys can see the weather we have i am just to show you where i am to show you i'm not in skyline valley i am right here on the map so right next to where my old camp used to be i actually have this camp just in case there's another camp around now i know what you're saying you could just build your camp in skyline valley but we're gonna put the weather station down anyways i think it's cool that you can have skyline valley anywhere you want so let's go ahead and do just that so we're actually gonna put it down right here this is actually where i had my atlantic city one set up um but i got tired of the fog so i turned it off hopefully this one isn't as annoying as that one is and now all i have to do is connect it so let's go ahead and do that um connect it boom so it is connected so now we're gonna watch the weather roll in we're gonna get on the roof and there it is oh i dig that that's so cool it's a little bit more red than I thought it was going to be, a little bit more darker, but no, I dig that. And as you can, as you know, as you walk away and leave the camp, you're going to have that transition back to normal weather, just like that. And then once you re-approach the camp, you have that transition back into the Skyline Valley weather. There it is. And to tell you the truth, I dig this. This is really cool. The only thing that would be cooler is if you had like that little storm that's uh circles this the middle of Skyline Valley above your camp. But I I get that. That'd be a lot of uh that would take a lot of resources to do, so I understand why that's not in there. So that's a really cool part of this bundle. That to be honest, that's the only reason why I purchased this bundle it looks like the winds really moving too the trees seem to be more lively now with it um then again the wind does move a good bit with regular weather as well it's just this one's constantly has it moving this does have a really cool look to it too i dig it i really dig it and let's check out the plushie so you guys can see the plushie uh mo the mole i'm actually gonna go add him to my plushy collect my plushy collection that i have all over my camp let's set him somewhere like right somewhere where we can kind of get a good look at him we'll go ahead and set him like right here for now all right guys here is mo the mole looks pretty cool they got like almost like a Smokey the Bear-esque vibe to it. I dig it. And then finally, let's take a look at let's take a look at the Vault 63 door display. As you can see, it's really big. It takes up a little chunk of your uh, actual camp budget. Oh, are we gonna attack by super mutants? We sure are. It says use, so let's see what it actually does. Oh wait, that's really cool. It gets struck by lightning. So it's kind of like a lightning rod. That's really cool. Okay, so it's got a little bit of animation to it. I dig that. I'm actually gonna scrap that for now though. And then finally, the new power armor display. And it's gonna be, I'm gonna, let me put it inside the camp, that way you can get a better look at it, put it in the light. The new weather station does have some, like, that reddish light. I want you to be able to get a good look at it. Um, so here it is, the new power armor station, right here. Of course, there will have the lights on it. I would have to hook it up to a generator. I have my wireless generator right now, so it's, it doesn't actually work for some of the displays so 
this looks really cool I am I will put a display in here just so or a generator in here so we can see what it actually if it has any like cool animations or anything to it we'll put like a random uh, generator that we can connect it to in here so let's do this and there you go as you can see it's just the basic lighting has the lights down there and also has the lights on the top this is probably going to be one of my favorite power armor displays now in the game so that's that's really cool all right guys that was everything in the bundle so if we have to break it all down it is 30 dollars it is quite steep and compared to like your usual like power armor bundle it's pretty steep i'm not gonna lie 30 dollars is quite a bit of money um for this bundle one thing i'm gonna add is that it has a weather station a power armor skin and a and a display uh station for your power armor so those all together normally run you probably won't find a bundle that has all of them together but normally they are pretty pricey so it, it to me the bundle is worth it i would pay this much for the bundle that's just me i play this game a lot thirty dollars is quite steep it doesn't have any atoms it doesn't have any like scrap kits repair kits anything else involved with it it's just, just those items that i showed you um and it, there's also the jetpack skin for the power armor i just don't run jetpacks on my power armor is it worth it i'm going to say for me yes somebody who plays the hell out of this game and plays every day yes it's worth it for me is it worth it for a player who maybe plays this game once or twice a week i'm gonna say no unless you want the power armor skin or the weather station i'm gonna say no it's not worth it if you play the game every day like i do and you like like to have a very cool display of power armor skins and cool weather stations for your camp yes it's worth it if that's not you if that doesn't describe you no it is not worth it and you should not spend 30 dollars on that bundle i will leave that decision completely up to you guys i hope this video helps you see what's actually in that bundle a little bit better i know i saw a few videos of it but it's just like just, i didn't want to just post pictures i wanted to like show you what it would be like get in the bundle as if like you just purchased it what you would actually have on you at that moment so guys i hope this was helpful um i will catch you guys in the next video i have a few more videos coming out this week um, i have a lot of videos coming your guys way i'm super excited for the content you guys are gonna see as i'm starting to get over this, this cold that i've been battling for like a week and a half now um more content is coming and i'm super excited so guys as always i'll catch y'all in the next one deuces